Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I have some book reviews for you today, actually just one for this video, but I'm gonna re be recording another book review because I started upping my reading again. And man, that feels good. I have to tell you that when I had neglected my reading a little bit because my running schedule changed and I was doing the Italian while I was trying to run, which was a little bit crazy, I, I just felt I don't know, like I was missing something. And there's so many more ideas and so much more inspiration in my life now that I'm reading two to three books a week again. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy, you get, you get addicted to that. A lot of you still ask me how I get through so many books. No, I'm not a speed reader. Uh, no, I don't really quote read them. I listen to most books in audio format. Now I do read a bunch of books on my Kindle and read paper books as well, probably about you know, 15, 30 minutes a day. But a majority of my quote reading comes from audiobooks. I use Audible. You can sign up here. I highly, highly recommend it. I spend, I must spend $600 a year with them, honestly, like, but it's totally worth it, right? And I get down the audiobooks and I listen to them about two, depending on the book and the narration, 2.5x to 3x speed is usually what I do. Sometimes if I'm lifting weights in the gym, I'll drop it down to 2x so I can understand it a little bit better. But you get used to it and you get up to that point, especially if you're running. If you're going for like a 10 mile run, like I do, I do about 40 miles a week, I, I can just focus on the book and I can really listen at 3x speed most of the time. So, you know, I, I don't do it for a vanity metric, right? If I can't understand the book, I have no qualms reducing the speed. But for most of the books that I listen to, right? If something's highly technical, has a lot of history and dates, or the narrator is a very fast speaker already, then I have to drop it down to 2.5, sometimes 2x speed. So there's no shame in that. But just to, just to let you know how I, how I roll, how I do this, and I, it's pretty valuable to me, honestly. I should probably just do a, a video talking about a little bit more on, on books and, and the, the idea of you know, you're know getting information from them when you're just listening to them. And you know to, just to give you the short answer here is that that's, it's, it's almost like dead time, right? Like if I'm running for you know an hour and a half or two hours, what what should I be doing during that time, right? Like I've got I've got my brain going. I might as well be listening to an audiobook, even if I wouldn't get as much out of it as I would m more focused taking notes and and, and whatnot and, and going over it. Then that uh, it, it's still a, a huge benefit. So well, it's not the best way to learn something, right? I've I've done a course. You can check out my course if you haven't already. By the way, ten steps to learn anything quickly. It, it's a totally different approach. I wouldn't recommend just. In fact, I say don't go through books cover to cover. But if you've got dead time, right, you might as well be listening to an audiobook or a podcast or something while you're driving in the car while you're running. All right, so this is actually a book review. So let's do the book review, or let me talk about the book. So the book that I want to talk about today is a fairly short book, but a really, really good book. It's called The Practicing Mind, and this book is so good. It's called uh, The Practicing Mind, right? And I think I think we already linked to it. If not, we'll we'll put a link to it. But I listened to the audio version. I actually listened to it for free. I think Audible had like a channels thing and an editor pick, and so I was going to buy it, but it was actually totally free uh, and it was it was short I think it was like three hours in content it's not not a huge amount of content but this book is all about trusting the process right really really good concept of just just a reinforcement of something that that I already preach that I already do but is so so important so critical in your life which is to divorce the results from the process and to focus on the process right and and not just in order to achieve the results right because I've talked about this a lot the results will come if you focus on the process but also just to have the happiness the flow the fulfillment to realize that when you're working on something and you're putting yourself into it and you're giving your all to that and your heart is there at that time, that's when you're really living your life. That's the enjoyment of it, right? He gives some comparisons to a lot of things that he's practiced, to music, to golf, and he talks about how you know there's, there's people, they wanna get good at the thing, they just want the goal, right? And that's that's not the, the way, right? You don't want the goal, what you want, it, it, because if you get something and it's easy for you, if you just had the goal, if you're just like, man, I would like to be good at golf, and bam, you're good at golf, 
you got no appreciation for it, right? That's not really what you're after. You appreciate the things that you went through and you you went through the process and that you learned and that you took the time to to develop that was hard and then you and then you got there. And really it's not even the goal. It's it's, it's that that process is what that's where life is, right? And that's what's important and that's where you get lost in it and that's where you have the enjoyment of of the work you're doing. And so a lot of life we focus on the goal especially in western culture here and 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 so much of it is just trying to achieve that trying to get to that point just wanting the end result and you miss out on so much of life and you miss out on the joy of it and you actually he talks about this in the book you actually don't progress as fast, right? If you just put yourself into the task, you will progress much faster than if you're trying to just achieve the goal because you're, you're focused on the goal, you're focused on, when you're focused on the goal, you're focused on what your shortcoming to the goal is, right? So you know what the goal is and you, you realize how you're failing, you're not reaching the goal at this point. But when you're focused on the task and you just trust the process and you know that if I do this, I will eventually get the results, the results will come, but I'm focused on just doing this and failing and making mistakes and not being good and sucking, right? As I talk about all the time, I think I did this video on why you gotta suck <laughs> or why, why you gotta be crap, focus on being crappy to be good. I don't know how I know like the, my video titles, it's weird, but I think that's the exact video title. But, but my, my point is this, is it's like, and he talks about this so much in the book, it's just that this, this idea that you gotta let go. You gotta let go of the stuff, you gotta let go of the goal, you gotta let go of the results, and you just gotta focus, you gotta trust the process, you gotta focus on the practice, on practice, on the, the practicing mind. And it's so true, and you know this is true at an instinctual level, right? I tell you guys this all the time, that, you know that if you put in the time and the practice, you will get there because other people have done it, right? You know, I give my example, I'll give my example again because I'm, I'm still, it's been a week since I ran my, my full marathon, but I did, you know, this, this full marathon. I, I, I did a training plan, okay? And a lot of people have done training. Like, anyone can run a full marathon. Right? And I never thought I could, right? I was, I was focused on, I was like, oh, 26.2 miles, it's too far, right? I mean, I've talked about this before for, for years about how, how impossible it is. I just can't do that. But then I did it, but anyone could do it if they just follow the training plan, right? There's marathon training plans, and any, just about anyone can just follow this. If you're willing to commit the 18 weeks to do the training and you do the runs that you're supposed to do, you will, you will pretty much make it, right? There, you, you can almost, and if you did a more intense training plan or a longer period of time, you could guarantee that you can make it, right? There's, there's an, almost nothing that can stop you if you're willing to put the time in the practice. So, practicing mind, I highly recommend it. You know, I, I love it when there's a succinct book that just is so printed. This is one of those books where I could see listening to over and over again. In fact, I'm probably just gonna buy the audio version even though I listen to it for free because I'm probably gonna listen to this one again. But not, not because it's anything new. Again, some of the stuff that I say in this YouTube channel, I, I hope I'm reminding you of stuff you already know deep inside, right? And that's what the best books, the best wisdom in life is shit you already know but it reminds you, it tells you, it, it, it gives you that kick in the ass, it, it reinforces what you already believe and what you know to be true and inspires you to take action on that and puts it in, in your conscious, to move it from your subconscious to your conscious so it, it becomes, and, and to some degree the other way around, right? So it becomes part of you and part of your action. There's a lot of stuff in there, you know, I haven't covered it all, definitely go check out the book. All right, if you like these book interviews, or these book, not interviews, these, well, the interviews too, but if you like these book reviews, or whatever you wanna call them, my opinions on books, you can definitely click that subscribe button and you will get them and click the bell if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on any videos. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.